Today we're going to look at subtracting integers. Now we've already learned how to add integers, and remember integers are numbers that have a positive or a negative value, and that's where we're going to use a number line to help us add integers. We're also going to use the number line that's going to help us subtract integers. So let's look at our first problem. If I take 2 and I subtract 7 from it, some of you already know that we're going to end up with a negative answer. But I'm going to show you an easier way how to do this. So what I'm actually going to do is the opposite operation, and I'm going to add the opposite of 7. So I'll rewrite my problem this way. It's going to end up being 2, because I'll leave that part the same. And I'm actually going to add to it the opposite of 7, which we know from last week is a negative 7. So if I were to go up to my number line and say 2 plus negative 7, which means I'll be heading that way, I end up with an answer of negative 5. So let's look at a few more. Remember, each time we do this, we're actually going to add the opposite of the integer that's given on the right. So let's say now we have 12, and we're going to subtract because we are subtracting integers, a negative nine. So my first step is to rewrite this. 12 stays the same. I'm gonna do the reverse operation. So I'm going to add the opposite of negative nine, which is just nine. So now I have the really simple problem of nine plus 12, and I get an answer of 21. We're going to look at one more now, and I'm going to follow the same steps where I do the opposite operation, so I'm going to be adding the opposite of my integer on the right. So let's say this time we have negative 3 minus a negative 5. Well, first step is to rewrite it. My integer on the left will always stay the same. This is rewritten as negative 3, and I want to add the opposite of negative 5, which is just regular 5. So now I have a negative 3 plus 5. Remember, my negative 3 will be on the left side of the number line. I'm going to move over 5 spaces, and when I move over those 5 spaces, I end up with 2. So remember, to subtract integers, what we do is we do the reversal, which is addition, and we add the opposite of the integer on the right.